Hey, 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 Taurus, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info is down in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box, Taurus, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community, and know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. All right, so your overall energy, Taurus, is the emperor. So you're very much in your masculine energy right now. Or you will be if you're not. You have the Knight of Wands. You have L Expansion, the Shedding Snake. You have the Sacred Fire, the Retiring Bonfire, and the Three of Wands. Okay. So somebody could be coming towards you from the distance, or you could be headed somewhere with the Knight of Wands. You are shedding something. All right, I'm hearing clearing of the air. So there may be a clearing of the air about a situation, but I'm also feeling a clearing of your energy. All right, so let's get into this and let's see. Tell me about the Emperor. What's going on here? So we have the Four of Swords. Hmm. The Five of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. So, what you've been wishing for, Taurus? Uh, if you've been wishing for an emperor this may be the time hmm yeah see there you are again clearing your energy increasing your vibration that's what they're saying let me get a kipper on this something you've been wishing for is coming to fruition here poverty have you been wishing to get out of a, a lack mentality? Oh, okay. So if you've been feeling a lack of love, a lack of anything, really, okay, it's coming towards you. Uh, there could be more than one. Let me get, let me see what this five of wands is. What is this five of wands? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. There could be more than one person coming towards you here, wanting to build with you. So you're really going to be focused on your stability here. So you may have a decision to make, and this may be why you're going into this Four of Wands, rest, uh, Four of Swords, sorry, resting stage here. And this shedding. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The Fool. Is that you or is that? And we have Aries energy again. The Two of Wands. So we have the Two of Wands, the Fool, and the Queen of Swords. So you're seeking the truth regarding a situation. This could be about, well, they said clearing the ear. Something about the past moving forward from the past but there is a leap of faith that you're taking here some of you could be moving there is excitement in the air that's what i'm feeling excitement in the air pathway mm, you feel it you know what song they're giving me i phil collins i can feel it in the air tonight 
And that's exactly what you're feeling. That's your intuition picking it up with the Queen of Swords energy. I do see you having to make a decision between a couple of people here, though. Or it's just about love in this Five of Wands. It could be that you're conflicted within what you want to build, what your world looks like to you, what you wish for it to look like. What have you visualized? I want to say, Taurus, you need to you need to put out to the universe exactly what you want. Some of you may not know. Some of you, or maybe you do know, but you haven't really daydreamed. I want to say daydream. So do some daydreaming. Okay. So clarifying L expansion. We have strength, we have the six of swords, and we have this extra card. Let's see what this says. Okay. Oh, oh. All right, Taurus, what I'm hearing, I got to give you what I'm hearing. Um, tantric, a tantric experience. If you don't know what that is, look it up. All right, this could be in the dream state first. That's what I'm getting. I've never gotten this message before. All right, so this is about moving. You've got a couple of moving cards here, but this will take some strength. This is going to birth a brand new you. You're really raising your vibration here, especially I'm feeling it in this card here. And you're going to feel this. You're going to feel this. Look up the lyrics to that song, In the Air Tonight. I think that's the name of it, In the Air Tonight. Mm, great fortune. Yeah. So once you step into this you, because you have multiple timelines available to you, right? Once you sort of jump into this timeline, quantum jump, if you will, you, you've got a mighty trail ahead, they're saying. A mighty, an abundant trail ahead. A mighty trail ahead. I feel like there's a lot going on on that, on that trail. So we have the Five of Cups clarifying the Sacred Fire, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. So there is a relationship from the past that you're shedding, that you're purifying, that you're, you're going through the emotions in order to clear the emotions. You're allowing the emotions to come from the past and you're understanding your reaction to situations from the past. And you're realizing that there is love here with the Two of Cups. Didn't this come up for you yesterday? So bringing me back to the courtship here. You're realizing your worth with the Nine of Pentacles. And you're pretty determined to get what you want. And, hmm. They're saying jump through hurdles. So you're going to jump through any hurdle that you need to jump over to get to where you want to be. You're going to stay on track. There's a determination in this staying on track that I'm uh, receiving here, Taurus. Hmm, don't be concerned. Sometimes you can overthink <laughs> family room. This is that daydreaming I'm getting. Focus on what it is that you want in this family room. What do you want to build? What do you want to build? I'm going to get one more here. The Taurus, mature man. So there could be somebody, this person coming in could be older than you or just very mature. Tell me about the three of wands. Your world is opening up. Mm -hmm. 
there's that rebirthing with the judgment, the five of pentacles, and the hermit card. You're shining a light upon the shadow aspects of the self. And this is where this lack mentality is leaving here. You're, you're understanding why. They just said you're saying no more. But there's a lot of wisdom that you're going to gain from this journey. You're going to continue to gain this wisdom as you go about this trail. Okay, there's a kipper here. Wealthy man. So this could be you or this could be this person here. Privileged lady. And that could be you or this person. There's a lot of prosperity for you here. That's what I'm feeling. A lot of great fortune and love and healing and expansion. Your advice is the Three of Cups, the Moon. Tap into your intuition here. Recognize what's in front of you with the Four of Cups. All right. And don't, don't push aside celebration of how far you've come here with the Three of Cups here. <laughs> that daydreaming I, I've been talking about. Make sure you're still aware. Like, set aside time for the daydreaming. Make sure you're not walking around in that trans-like state and you're not noticing what's being offered to you from the universe, okay? And find there are hidden aspects of you that have yet to be discovered. They're wanting you to find these aspects. And look at your fears. I'm also getting with the moon card. All right, so advice for Aries. Advice, ooh, you've got two, delay. Confront the natural tendency to delay the finishing of a creative endeavor. Are you procrastinating on something? And you also have reflection. Time to focus, balance, reflect, and guide yourself past stumbling blocks to take the right actions. And that's the hurdles that I was feeling, Taurus, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box, Taurus, if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. So don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.